What's up guys, it's Phil back again with another product review video. In this episode, we got another 5950 side patch fitted cap collection for you. I got 11 hats to go through with you guys. Really cool designs on these. I can't wait to get into them. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this collection is called the 5950 City Transit Pack from New Era. That's right, that's what we're calling it. That's what New Era is calling it. So that's what we're calling it. City Transit, because these hats, the patches on these hats, they really focus on how people get around in their respective cities. So um, without stretching this out too long, let's get into the first one. All right, so up first, we got this Philadelphia Phillies fitted cap. Um, there's so many details on these hats, so I'm gonna try to go through them as best and as quickly and as thoroughly as I can. So first off, all red, right? Red structured crown, red flat brim. Got that Philadelphia Phillies logo embroidered in the front in white, 3D as always. Front patch is the Liberty Bell. As we know, iconic piece of Philadelphia history, the Liberty Bell, great choice. And I think it looks really good next to that P and it makes a lot of sense, right? On the wearer's left, we got a motorcycle above the New Era flag embroidered in white. Now, you might be thinking, why a motorcycle? Well, something people from Philly know is there's actually uh, hordes of people that ride around on these dirt bikes uh, through the city. This is a fact. Like, you can look it up. Just look up Philly motorcycle horde. Like, this is the thing. They come through on quads, like, straight down Broad Street sometimes, right next to City Hall. They're, they're, uh... They're, they're driving quads, they're driving dirt bikes, you name it. So this is a piece of uh, Philadelphia kind of, uh, I guess you could say culture that you know you might not know if you're not from Philly or from the surrounding area. Um, on the back here, we, got, we have like kind of like a city transit map with uh, South Philadelphia East pointed out here. I guess they're talking about Southeast Philly, um, which is what we call it around here, but that's what's highlighted there. That's what the star is. MLB Batterman logo, also embroidered. I love what they did on the right side, the wearer's right. They got brotherly love in that script going across two panels, absolutely beautiful. And that Philadelphia street sign um, side patch, which I think is really dope as well. Gray bottom, keeping it nice and clean. Classic 5950 gray bottom. Black sweatband on the interior. And this hat is made out of 100% polyester. So let me just give you another 360 of this Phillies hat. So much detail, dope hat. Let's get into the next one. All right, so up next, we got another cool hat. This is a Cooperstown one. It's a vintage Florida Marlins fitted cap. As we know, Florida Marlins are now called the Miami Marlins. This is that old school logo with the F and the Marlin wrapping around it. On the front there, we have a really detailed orange uh, patch. Oranges, as we know, like basically Florida's currency, right? <laughs> major export from Florida. So I like that they did that, tying it into Florida. On the wearer's left there, you got a jet ski patch above the new era. So as we mentioned, this is about how people get around. You know, people in Miami, they're riding, they're riding jet skis, you know, it's, it's the weather's beautiful, it's the place for it. So I love that patch, it looks really dope. Um, on the back here, we have another city transit map and pointed out in teal, it's uh, East Little Havana. I'm not sure what that is, I'm assuming it's a place in Miami um, that's, you know, relevant to the city, but really cool. Cooperstown Batterman patch on the back here. Like I said before in past videos, the Cooperstown Batterman is more squared off as opposed to the new one, which is a little bit more rounded of the edges. Embroidered right there. On the wearer's right, you got uh, that Miami, Florida script going across two panels. 
and this kind of Florida, I think this is a street sign. I'm pretty sure this Florida thing, um, I think it's a street sign. I don't know if, if, if somebody knows what it is and I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments, but pretty sure it's a street sign. And I really love this script because, uh, you know, when you see the word Miami in script, the first thing, especially in that teal color, the first thing you think of Miami Vice off the rip. So that's really dope. I like what they did there. Gray under visor, nice and clean, gray bottom, 59.50 as always. Black sweatband on the interior and it is 100% polyester. So let me just give you one more 360 of this Florida Marlins Cooperstown City Transit fitted cap. All right, let's go uh, into the next one. All right, so up next, we got uh, the first of three New York uh, fitted caps that we got in this collection. It's the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, beautiful Brooklyn Nets logo in the black and white with that B. I mean, just one of the most iconic basketball logos, uh, just because, you know, Jay-Z owns them and all that crazy stuff. Really dope. Statue of Liberty logo right next to it. I mean, it, it just makes sense, right? If you're making a New York hat, Statue of Liberty gotta be somewhere. It's just iconic imagery. On the wearer's left, we got uh, kind of like a subway uh, transit car. And if you look really closely, it actually says Nets on like, I guess the area where the destination is usually put. Um, so that's a nice little touch, very subtle detail, which I love what they did. Um, on the back here, we have the one, two, yeah, okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure the five boroughs of New York. Um, and in this one, obviously, since it's a Brooklyn Nets hat, Brooklyn is pointed out. Uh, and we got the NBA silhouette that Jerry West silhouette logo there um, embroidered on the wearer's right in the script we got BKLYN of course that stands for Brooklyn that's the way people say Brooklyn very dope and you got kind of like this vintage I, I believe it's a street sign uh, it says Brooklyn in the blue and the tan I, I like it it's like a little splash of color that stands out from the rest of the cap a little bit more vintage vibe very dope I like what they did there gray under visor black sweatband 100% polyester and there's another 360 view of that Brooklyn Nets all over side patch city transit fitted cap. All right, let's get into the next one. All right, up next, Hotlanta, the ATL. We got this Atlanta Braves hat on the front. That beautiful, look at that detail. I mean, absolutely beautiful. The embroidery detail on the patches, specifically the food ones. For some reason, I don't know why. Very detailed. They put a peach, Georgia peaches, as we know, Atlanta, Georgia, you know, representing the culture. On the wearer's left, right above the new era flag, we got, I think this is a subway car. It looks like a subway car. It's a little bit different than the one on the New York hats. Uh, it's got like kind of like stripes, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, new era logo, as I mentioned, right? On the back here, we have another city transit map with downtown Atlanta highlighted in the red. MLB Batterman logo. And on the side here, we got this script, ATL, another way that people refer to Atlanta, and this Atlanta street sign in the red and white. Very dope, very cool. Gray under visor, gray bottom fitted, black sweatband on the interior, 100% polyester on this. And there's another 360 view of that Atlanta one. I like this one, I really like it. Whenever I see that peach embroidery, I just, I feel like it really seals the deal. For, for the Atlanta uh, custom patch fitted caps. It looks really cool. All right, let's get into the next one. All right, so next up we got another Philly hat. This time we got the Eagles in that midnight green. One of the most like unique colorways in the NFL, you know, midnight green. I, I don't know how they came up with it, but uh, it looks cool. So yeah, Eagles logo on the front, Liberty Belt. Basically the patch layout on this is exactly the same as the Philadelphia Phillies one, but it just gives you a little bit more variety. One thing I love is on that side patch, that wearer's left side patch, the motorcycle in the purple looks really good with uh, the midnight green. Uh, you know, the contrast is nice. New era flag as well in white. On the back, we have that city transit map with South Philadelphia East, also known as Southeast Philly, highlighted in black. You got the uh, NFL, the current NFL logo in midnight green and black embroidered there. And on the wearer's right, brotherly love, as we know, Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. Embroidered in white, right next to that Philadelphia street sign. Gray under visor, 
black swept in on the interior, and this Phillies hat, uh, this Philadelphia Eagles hat, excuse me, is 100% polyester. So there's another 360 view of this 5950. Very cool, very cool. All right, let's get into the next one. Okay, so up next, New York Yankees, pretty straightforward. Like I said, similar teams, I mean, similar cities have similar patches. So this one has a lot of the same patches as the Nets one and as the New York Mets one. So um, on the front there, the Yankees logo, Statue of Liberty. I mean, the two, they basically go together. You know, it makes perfect sense, right? On the wearer's left, we got a, another subway car above the New Era logo, except this time it says Yankees in red on the destination. Very cool. Five boroughs of New York on the back here, except this time the Bronx is highlighted in gray and you have that current MLB Batterman. On the wearer's right, we see it says the Empire State. As we know, New York is the Empire State. And we have like kind of this vintage street sign in the blue, white, and tan that says New York. Big fan of it. I like them incorporating the vintage vibes. Gray under visor, black sweatband, 100% polyester. And there's another 360 view. This hat is so classy. If you're a, a Yankees fan, a New York native, I think this is a solid pickup. All right, let's get into the next one. Next up, we got another Miami team, specifically the Miami Dolphins. Uh, off the bat, what I love about this hat is how the teal in the Dolphins uh, color just pops so well with all the patches that are on the hat, right? So on the front there, we got that Miami Dolphins logo. It's got that orange, it's got that teal, that white, super bright. And then right next to it, you have that orange patch, which just ties in so well with the Dolphins logo. Uh, we make our way over to the wearer's left, and uh, we see that jet ski patch, which again, just looks so good. It's like, you see the teal, you think summer vibes, you think warm colors, and then you see that, that jet ski, it, it brings it all together, right? New era flag, also embroidered in white. You know what it is. On the back here, we got this uh, like city transit patch. Miami Gardens is highlighted in orange. And then you got the NFL current logo in teal and orange. Overall, just going good, looking good. On the wearer's right though, now Miami, Florida script, it pops off so well in the orange on the teal. And then we have that Florida like street sign, city sign, whatever, I, I don't know what it is. I think it's a highway sign. I don't know, you guys let me know. If anybody knows, please let me know. Okay, gray under visor, black swipe in on the interior, 100% polyester, and there's another 360 view of that Miami Dolphins 5950 fitted cap. All right, so next up we got the 76ers. Let's go. All right, Philadelphia 76ers, another Philadelphia team. So we know what to expect, right? We've seen a couple of these already. That 76ers logo on the front with the stars, very dope, especially when you see that Liberty Bell right next to it. Just, it makes sense. Nine, uh, 1776, you know, uh, when the nation was founded, that 76ers, that bell, it just looks right. We got that motorcycle horde inspired motorcycle patch on the wearer's left above the new era flag. Um, and on the back here, we have the uh, Philadelphia sign, and uh, it's got the South Philadelphia East in red, that Jerry West NBA logo in red and white, and on the right, City of Brotherly Love, that Brotherly Love script right next to that street sign that says Philadelphia. Gray bottom, gray under visor, black swept in on the interior, 100% polyester, and there's another 360 view of that Philadelphia 76ers. Absolutely fire. I think this is probably my favorite one. Or, you know, I'd say this is my favorite tied with the Phillies one, uh, but this one is really cool and the colors just like, they just pop so well. All right, so up next, uh, we don't traditionally get Boston hats, but we actually have a Red Sox hat. So, and I actually like this one. So let's get into that. All 
All right, so here we got the Boston Red Sox City Transit 5950 fitted cap from New Era. Um, I love it, you know, I actually like what they did with this one. Navy blue, right? That red and white Red Sox B logo embroidered on the front. And then you got these uh, four leaf clovers. They are four leaf, yeah. Four leaf clovers embroidered patch on the front. As we know, a lot of people in Boston, a large portion of the demographic is of Irish descent. So that's what I'm thinking here. That's why they did that four leaf clover patch. On the wearer's left here, we got a, a subway car uh, patch above the new era flag. And then on the back, we have, I guess a map, a city transit map of Boston. And it says Fenway Kenmore, which I believe is where uh, the baseball stadium is for for Boston for the Red Sox uh, you got the MLB batterman there on the back Boston Mass in that script really cool and then you got kind of like the street sign that says Boston Mass uh, Massachusetts as a side patch on the wearer's right gray under visor black sweatband on the interior 100% polyester and there you go one more 360 look at the Boston Red Sox city transit 5950 fitted cap all right, cool, two more. I hope you're still with me, guys. Up next, Los Angeles Lakers. All right, so here's the Lakers one. Pretty dope. Um, first of all, that purple, that huge Lakers logo, iconic as it is, you know, it's, it's basically just art by itself. So iconic, right? You got these stars on either side of the Lakers logo. You know, I think that's a nod to Los Angeles, the Hollywood stars. I think it's that type of vibe. Um, on the wearer's left here, we got kind of like a, um, it's a low rider with like the hydraulic suspension kind of bouncing up. Uh, good idea for a patch, as we know that is pretty iconic to the LA culture. Uh, embroidered right above the new era flag. On the back here, we have a city transit map of uh, Los Angeles and downtown Los Angeles is highlighted in yellow. We got the Jerry West, and Jerry West was actually a Los Angeles Laker, right? Jerry West silhouette NBA logo in yellow and white. And on the right here, we got that West Coast script with the Los Angeles, uh, it's like a highway sign, right? Side patch embroidered there in green and white. Gray under visor, black sweatband on the interior, 100% polyester. And there you go, guys, one 360 look at that Los Angeles Lakers one, pretty cool. I love the patch, I love the hydraulic suspension, and uh, I think this is a good pickup. Finally, the last hat in the City Transit collection that we got in, the New York Mets. Let's get into it. All right guys, this is the last hat in the collection, the New York Mets, blue and orange. Statue of Liberty patch there in that green. Looks really good with the Mets, nice contrast there. On the wearer's left, we got a subway car side patch embroidered above the New Era logo. And if you look closely, you'll see it says Mets on the destination for the subway car. Um, on the back here, we got the five boroughs in New York and the city transit map and uh, Queens. We got Queens in orange highlighted there. Um, on the wearer's right, same script as on the Yankees one, the Empire State uh, in orange, really dope. And then you got that vintage blue, tan and white New York street sign, giving it some vintage vibes. Uh, gray under visor, black sweatband on the interior, and it is 100% polyester. So there's another 360 degree look at the Mets hat. Okay guys, so that has been the City Transit Pack 5950 collection that we got in from New Era. We actually got in three other hats that I made in a separate video. Uh, it was the Astros, the Dodgers, and one other team that I can't remember right now. But um, all these hats are actually live right now on our website, capswag.com, and they're available in stores. So if you like one of the ones you saw, make sure you pick it up before they sell out. As an added bonus, we're doing a promo on the site, five fitted cap pins for $20. That's right, five pins. Five uniquely designed pins, dope pins, really, really good pins. Huge selection, by the way. 
for only $20, you get five of them. Great value there. You know, we always try to bring value to you guys. If you like this video, guys, make sure you leave a like. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification. Leave us a comment down below for what you want to see in the future. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Later.